Hey everybody, Dave Ellis here. Today I am going to review the digital photo Thanos Pro. So, let's start with the collar. What I love about this collar and yoke and handle assembly is that <laughs> it's so smooth. It's really smooth. First thing I did was just like play with this. I was like, oh yes, yes. Oh, that's nice. It is so slick. Like, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if this is really doing it for you. But if you're an operator and you understand where I'm coming from, like you'll see like, oh, that is dope. It's dope. It's so dope. It's so, mm, it's so nice. Like it will, you know what I mean? Like it just, Amazing. Worth the purchase right here. This is it. Really, really. Um, <clears throat> the other cool thing about it is that the receiver here, the hole that you put your arm post or spool in, some people call it that, um, it actually is a standard size. It fits like all 3A style spools. It's, it's neat. Um, to be honest, you know what? I never actually really took this thing off oh wow okay yeah. oh god I think I broke it see just like that so simple off on done boom um, so anyway so so that's cool I really 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 dig the collar onto the base so base is really nice very well made nice construction um, it's got a very low profile small footprint so you're not gonna bump into your elbows or hit your gut or something like that whenever you're operating very easy to use very intuitive very simple you know you set it up you look how it's how it's sitting if it's swaying one way you, you push pull pull levers and you're done um, very very nice um, there are a couple of things that I would like to say, a little design notes that I would like to say about this. Um, the first thing being, you know, first thing being, of course, the 15 mil rods with the 60 millimeter spacing. That would be very crucial. Um, what I also would like, with that being said, would be to add, um, <clears throat> would be to add like a dog bone or something that you can then attach an accessory to much like a monitor or whatever whatever you want to attach to it also what I would like to see is the the base itself you know the actual platform that it all sits on to have some quarter 20 threaded holes in it so that you could attach other things to there if you needed to if you wanted to I'm not sure if anybody has that need but if you did it's there for you um, at least one in the you know, one in the fore, one in the aft, and you're good to go. Um, the other thing, too, is at the bottom, there is there's nothing else to attach to here. Um, it's just the hole that the quarter 20 goes through in order to attach to the grip itself. Uh, I would like for there to have been a quarter 20 hole at the bottom of this. The vest is awesome. Let me show you. Here's the vest. It's very lightweight. Doesn't drag down on you like uh, like some big rig vests would. Um, it pretty much has all of the adjustability that you would get out of any other rig. There's ample amounts of padding in all sorts of places that are gonna contact your body. And it feels very nice. Like once you get it, dialed into what your body is, it feels very comfortable. Um, unlike some other vests that I have tried on, 
where you just you never feel at ease with it. You know, once I got this thing set to how my body is, it felt fine. It felt very natural. It felt very normal. Um, there was no, any, you know, no chafing, no rubbing in some sort of weird spot that doesn't feel right. It all just kind of tied in very nicely. It felt really good, you know. So what's cool about this is that, you know, it's, just, it's the standard vest, you know. It's got all these buckles. Everything hooks in together. The spar here just allows you to adjust the height or adjust the length, so to speak. Um, what's neat is that it's got this little pad in the back that wraps around you. So it gives you a little, uh, little lumbar support. So it's pretty sweet about that. Kind of like that part. Uh, I will say though, it is a little bit tight in the middle hooks. But again, I have a 50 inch chest or a 50 inch bust. So your mileage may vary if you're a thin kid. If you're skinny, um, it, it will definitely probably be a lot easier to fit. But uh, but yet still, with that being said, regardless, it still fit me very nicely. Uh, I had no problem putting it on once I figured out what it was, you know, how everything went on. And I definitely enjoyed wearing this vest. The arm. The arm. Yo. The arm is dope. I am actually really pleasantly surprised at how well this arm performs. Super smooth, no clunkiness to it. Um, <clears throat> two very giant, big ass knobs that will help you in adjusting where the load capacity sits. Um, you know, in the in the Steadicam world, some people call it the isoelasticity, meaning you know, where you dial it in is going to determine where it sits. You know, you can dial it up really high so it sits up, or you can dial it really down so it sits low. Um, but I will say, I mean, it is very, very well constructed. Um, strong. Apparently this thing carries how much? It carries almost 20 pounds. 19.84 pounds. I mean, for what you're spending, again, this thing kicks ass. It's actually super strong. So, uh, but yeah, very lightweight, very strong, very sturdy from what I can tell. You know, <clears throat> the bones are great. It even has a little rubber bumpers on the, on this, on the midsection here so that you know, you don't make that clankety sound that some arms do because they don't think to put a little rubber gasket or thing attached to it. <clears throat> but yeah, very simple to design, very simple design, but very, very well thought out from what I can tell. Uh, I really, really enjoy using this arm. Um, yeah, and just, you know, drops right in, click, and you're good to go. So, in closing... My verdict is, I like it. I like it a lot. It definitely made a lot of shots that I would struggle a bit getting using just my bare hands. Made them a lot easier, a lot more manageable to achieve. Uh, knowing that I didn't have to think about carrying the weight as well as all the other aspects of shooting. It's a great piece of kit. I really, really dug it. I really had a lot of fun using this and I highly, highly recommend it for anybody who is looking to find a way to sort of carry the weight so you can concentrate on your shots, focus on getting better shots and have the, the stamina to go out there and shoot, shoot, shoot because that's really all it is. It's all about getting the content. If you have the tools to get the content with, then there's nothing that can stop you. So yeah, highly recommend it. Um, like, share, tell everybody about it. Digital photo, Thanos Pro. You won't be disappointed. I guarantee it. God bless you guys. Have a great one. Be safe. Peace.